Hello, and welcome to Fortress Alaska. I'm your host, Dave, and today we're going to have part two of So You Want to Hunt in Alaska, Calibers slash Ammunition. Now, once again, this assumes that you are traveling to Alaska and not a resident, and that you have done your due diligence to learn our hunting laws and regulations because depending on you what you hunt, there can be some caliber specific requirements. Anyway, so let's talk about the basics. Once again, this assumes you came up here to hunt big game. We're talking caribou, moose, bear. Not talking blacktail deer or small game or waterfowl hunting. We are going to talk about if you're going to be hunting bear, moose, and caribou. All three animals are extremely large, much bigger than most anything you run into the lower 48. Our, grizz, our brown bears are bigger than the brown bears in the lower 48. Our black bears are bigger than the black bears in the lower 48 and our moose are huge. So let's talk about caliber choice. My first recommendation is you get one of the standard calibers that you can find in any store that sells firearms and ammunition. Do not think you want to hunt with, you know, a 347 Bubba Special Express because if your ammunition does not arrive, remember your baggage can get lost in shipping uh, your, as it comes up here on the aircraft, it can get lost, misplaced, whatever. You want to be able to go into a local store and buy your ammo. This is why I even discourage hand loads. You want to be able to buy the same brand and ammo that you have been practicing with, practiced with and learn how to shoot your rifle with so you know its point of impact, you know its hold over, holdovers, and you can shoot accurately out to 400 yards with your scope. So that's the first thing. Pick a standard caliber and standard ammunition you can buy in almost any store that sells firearms and ammunition. So these are the top five that I recommend. Starting off with the bottom, 308 Winchester. Excellent cartridge. A lot of companies, every company I think makes 308 Winchester. Uh, the next, 30 out 6. Once again, any store you go into will have 30 out 6. These two have very similar ballistics. But with a 30 out 6, you can put in heavier bullets and take down bigger game easier. There is no reason you can't hunt anything in Alaska with a 308, except for maybe bison, because there are restrictions on bison. So, next is the 300 Winchester Magnum. Once again, very common round, plenty of power, can hunt anything in Alaska, no problem. The 338 Win Mag, also same thing, extremely common can hunt anything in Alaska. And finally, the 375 Holland and Holland. Not as common as the rest, but still a common caliber for Alaska, so you can find it in the stores here. And you can pretty much uh, get it in any store that sells firearms or ammunition here in, in Alaska. It's an excellent bear round, excellent moose round, and it works well on caribou too. It's just you have to be a better shot because holdovers are different. as uh, It's not nearly as aerodynamic as the other ones. I would like to point out these top three here, all belted magnums. For use that, for those of you who do not know, the belt has nothing to do with it being a magnum. The belt is just for head spacing, because they had issues head spacing the 375 H and H when it was originally designed, so they put the belt on. So, 375 head spaces at the belt, not at the shoulder like most other rifle ammunition. So, anyways, that's why the belt's there. No other reason. So. Like I said, these are a sampling of five very good cartridges for hunting in Alaska, uh, but that does not eliminate things like the 7mm Remington Magnum. I mean, I know people who hunt moose with 243. That seems like to me, but you can do it. Um, like I said, bison is the one where it has a very specific ammunition requirement, so le learn it and know it if you're coming up here to help hunt bison. Bison, by the way, are the largest North American mammal bigger than bears and moose. Anyways, the other thing I like to point out is bullet choices. You see here I have a Winchester Silver Tip, excellent hunting round. These just have lead soft nose, also excellent hunting rounds. These however have Barnes X bullets, solids, solid copper bullets. These are my preferred choices is the solid copper bullets. When I hunt, I always hunt with solid copper bullets. I'll say that again. When I hunt, I always hunt with solid copper bullets. The kind that are meant to open up and expand when they hit. So they, they look like a hollow point, they expand like a hollow point, but there is no lead core. And my sole reason for doing that 
is that I don't want any lead in my meat. Lead is a toxin. There is no safe level of lead, and I just don't want it in my meat. Which brings us to the next thing. People say, oh, well, solid copper bullets are expensive. Yes, they are. But I'd like to point out you're coming to Alaska. You are spending a small fortune to get to Alaska to hunt in Alaska. Buy premium ammunition. You want the best ammunition you can buy while you're hunting Alaska. This may be a once-in-a-lifetime event. You don't want your hunt ruined because you bought bargain basement ammo. Spend the money, get premium ammunition. Like I said, I, I switched to hunting with solid copper bullets, Barnes X bullets to be exact, decades ago, and I have never looked back. That's why all these cartridges look so old because I don't use those type of bullets anymore for hunting. They just hang around and I shoot them off for target practice. But what you want, my personal opinion, is the best bullet you can get. And to me, the Barnes X-Style bullet is the best hunting bullet there is. So it eliminates the lead, and lead is not needed in your meat. So you get more meat, less bladder, and also lead splatters when it hits the bone. Solid copper bullets, even if it does break up, it's copper, and you can eat copper, so no problem. Anyways, so there are the basics about hunting ammunition and calibers for Alaska. Remember, the key points are get common ammunitions that you can buy in any store, buy premium ammunition, and I reckon, always recommend not to have anything with a lead core. Go for a solid copper bullet, such as a Barnes X bullet, and uh, you, will not, you will not be disappointed at all. And in addition, you might want to consider when you travel, because your ammo has to be shit put in a different container during transport, when you fly in the airlines, you want your ammo in one container, your firearm in another, I would really recommend having at least two bags and having a box of ammo in each bag. That way if one bag's lost, you still have your box of ammo. Sorry, there's not much you can do if your gun gets lost in ship shipping up here, but at least have an extra box of ammo. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. You can find me on Patreon. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, and uh, as always, have a good day, and get out shooting.